Hey gamers, it's Grand This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The Spaced Out DLC semi open alpha, which uh, by the time you're watching this video is probably out in early access. Um, this episode, I've got a few main things I want to get going. Uh, last episode, we got some oil going. We we're sending it through the teleporter here. So I got a couple of tanks full of oil, and we're going to set up some oil refineries. Um, but I just realized that the place I wanted to put them is... I wanted to put them up here originally. I was going to build a room here. But I just realized I can't put my liquid lock here because it's minus 50. And crude oil freezes at minus 40. So, um, we're going to cancel that plan. And I think I'm just going to try to put it in here, which is kind of a small room, but... I think it should be enough. So we're going to... Remove the floor here. <laughs> so we can get room to put that oil refinery in. And then I guess I'll have to put some insulation here. And then a liquid lock somewhere in here. Maybe we'll dig into the abyss light here. Something like that. We want to keep this area warm. Now, will they get stuck there? No, they should be okay. So, oil refinery. So that's that's the that's the main thing I want to get going. Uh, we want to keep the oil supply coming in strong, and that's on our other planet here. Perkibo. Uh, I lied. It's on Bupazon. So Bupazon is where we have the oil reservoirs. And we have to we have to activate them because we only had a little bit of starting oil here, which we could probably get a little bit more of if we shave that off. And shave this off. But two tanks should allow us to get going at least. We'll have to be a bit careful because we got a bit of petroleum being made here by this uh, molten slickster. And I'll probably want to liquid lock this whole area. And they got some other stuff to do here, so we'll let them kind of work away. Let's see what's on the printer here, first of all. Uh, we're not going to take any more dupes on for a while. Even though we have 700,000 food. Okay, so oil refining. That's what I want to get going. I think we can kill off some of these other digs that aren't super critical. Uh, let's get this priority up. And then we're going to drop some crude oil in here. Or what's the temperature like in here? 17. We could probably put water in here, but I'm going to use crude oil. And I think I might just use the crude oil here, since we already have it. It's at, it's at 100 degrees, actually. Hmm. Kind of high. But that's maybe okay. I didn't need to drop that tile out. I just realized we could have been okay just with that there. Minus eight. I think we'll just use water because I don't want to build the pipe all the way over there. And I don't want to heat this room up too much initially. So yeah, let's just put some water in there. Bottle emptier. Get a liquid lock. Um, that's all sealed. We'll put water and hopefully it'll stay... Actually, we got a bit of crude oil, I think, somewhere on the map. Let's just double check that. Uh, I think I mopped some up from somewhere, but maybe not. Crude oil, 9.4 kilograms. Yeah, we have a tiny bit. So if we mix the two liquids there, if we put water in there as well. Polluted water is probably even better. Let's use polluted water as a, a lower freeze temp. So since liquids can only occupy one tile at a time, that should be oil and this should be polluted water and we should get a seal. And the reason I'm sealing this in is because the oil refinery gives off natural gas and we don't want natural gas going everywhere. So let's make that out of Gold. One is probably enough for now. 
We better use insulated pipe because that is hot, hot oil. Put it in there and then hot, hot petroleum is going to be coming out. Uh, really, really hot actually. And we'll put that in a storage container for now. Liquid reservoir. Gold. Hmm. It might melt. <laughs> uh, we might have to use steel. I don't have much steel, but we'll stick that in steel. And then put it in the input. And the main reason I'm making petroleum is just for plastic, really. So we'll get some plastic makers going on in here. That's also refinement. Let's see here. Polymer press. Actually, if we if we send molten petroleum into the polymer press, we're probably going to have some problems. But we'll try it. We'll make it out of steel as well. And see how that goes. And then we need power in here. So we're going to snake this in. We'll just put our heavy watt wire in here because this is all high powered stuff. So while they do that, we will get some other work going on here in the other asteroids. I was digging all this out. Let's get that all cleared away. Make sure they have a way out. That can go. That can go. Actually, we'll save that. And let's do another set of ladders here. One, two, three, four. We'll put it underneath for now. And then after, we'll probably have to remove it, but just under the oil reservoir here. We could probably start with this one. We'll go down one more level here. If you hold shift, you can move the mouse around and it'll draw a straight line, which is pretty handy. If you hold shift. Do the same thing over here, just to get all the stuff out. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, we missed one. And we missed over here. Okay, so that'll keep them very busy and hopefully they won't get trapped. I don't think they will. How are we going over here? Everything is, seems to be okay. The bathroom's not backed up yet. Okay, looks good. Back to our Kibo. And we got a lot of CO2 building up down here and that's not good for the dupes. So I'm thinking of sucking the CO2 out of here, sending it up into our rocket tanks here. Or we could just destroy it. We're making some here with the wood burners. I think I'll just destroy it actually, even though we got quite a bit of it here. And so how should we do that? Um, kind of want to do it at the lowest level possible, but they can't breathe down here. We did rummage one exosuit here, atmosuit. We could just get them to wear atmosuits instead. Uh, I got to make sure they go in kind of a, a one-way path, though. So we'll actually we'll block them from going this way. Just put a wall here. So they can't get out that way. They can still get out this way. Uh, let's just block them right here. And then we'll force them to come out this way, with the exosuits. And I think I can shave this down here. We'll build a little floor here. Out of granite, I guess, right here. So this will be our exosuit area. There's quite a bit of CO2 here already, but uh, hopefully they'll be able to get through. They can hold their breath. Atmosphere checkpoint. Stick that at the end here. And then a station. Right here. Out of gold.
That's all gonna need power. We don't have any power down there yet. How's this circuit? Kind of overloaded. We could build another circuit out of coal, maybe? How much coal do we have on this map? 43 tons, quite a bit. Let's just put another circuit in there. We could stick that uh, right in here, maybe. There's this mushroom growing, but we'll, we'll bring it up. Do I want it there, or do I want it somewhere else? I kind of like all this natural food here. Let's put it up for one, two, three, four, right here. Does that leave us room? Not really. Let's do it over here. Let some of this oxygen out as well so they can breathe while they do it. So power, coal. That's actually not lined up, so let's bring that down to the bottom floor here, even though we got water there. You know what? I think we'll release that water. Uh, will that work? Oh, we can drop it down into a tile if it doesn't work. We can drop it down right there. Breathability warnings. Okay, for power, let's do a coal generator right here. I think I'll have to dig up. I don't have to, but I th let's put a smart battery over here, maybe. Smart battery to control it. Oh, we're running low on metal here. Let's take that right here, I guess. That's going to mean some exolite. Sorry, oxalate will get dug up. That's okay. We're getting some warnings there. Probably idleness. Okay, let's take this out. So yeah, the game comes out tomorrow into early access. I don't know if I'll have to restart or what. If they're if they're giving us more asteroids to venture on, then I might restart, even though I'm kind of established here. I do want to explore the rest of this map. This one's pretty much explored. Got a little bit of magma that we could use in the future. For Kibo, they can't breathe. We'll fix that pretty soon though. It's pretty hot and hard to breathe down there. Automate that, and let's get some wire going on there. We'll just use aluminum. Get that priority set. Maybe try to mop this up as best we can. At least there's little bits of oxygen now they can breathe. And so let's get back to our Oh, you know what? I forgot, about my, I forgot about my liquid lock. It's probably flowing everywhere here. Uh, back to the main planet. I'm probably making a mess. Actually, no. Maybe there's no polluted water available. <laughs> That's entirely possible. Yeah, this thing, can it reach? Only water. Okay. We'll stick one down here instead. Hmm, Drecklet. What should we do? Oh, we'll get another Drecklet. Okay, so we got some stuff going on here. Let's let's wire this up. We got oil. Oh, we already got petroleum? Crude oil. What did I what have I done here? <laughs> what have I done? Did I did I set that up? Wow, you guys probably saw me do that in and you're probably wondering, what is he doing? What is he doing? Okay, we'll just deconstruct that and try again. Wrong pipe, wrong location. A little bit of mopping to do here now. Let's try that again. 
Luckily all that crude oil went into a, a thing instead. Okay, let's try that again. Steel. Not sure what I was smoking there. Okay. That goes in there. That should all be petroleum. And then the boiling hot petroleum we're going to stick in here. Now we could try to cool it down. I think what I'll end up doing here is actually digging all this out. We'll dig this out. And it's so cold up here, we can probably get... Remove this insulating layer. And let all that heat escape. Yeah, so we do it right this time. Uh, that goes in there. Petroleum out. Little storage tank. Plastic. Yeah, that should work. And this is going to be CO2 coming out of here. Uh, very hot CO2. Uh, and that became a mess really quite quickly, so we'll get rid of that. There should really be an exosuits around here. Because we don't want them running through this all the time. And it won't be very breathable in here pretty soon. And it's going to be too hot for them. So we kind of need... <laughs> kind of need exosuits. Uh, we do have some exosuits set up here. We're probably just going to block the top and make them go around. I think that's probably the easiest way. So, uh, let's do... Let's do this. We're going to block this for now. I can't block that because we got a heavy wet wire there. So we'll put a tile there instead. Get rid of the ladder. Put a heavy wet joint plate in there. Now I don't think they can get through here anymore. They might be able to jump through. We'll just stick a tile here and then they definitely can't get through. So the only way up is this way. We could do another exosuit dock on the top, but I think I'll just, I'm just going to force them to run around. Actually, they're coming this way, not that way. <laughs> yeah, they're coming this way. Uh, I don't want them to run around the whole base. Uh, do we have any reed fiber here? 35 units. Wow. Oh, I guess I sent a bunch back. Okay. We may change this up a bit here. Let's see. Let's set up an exosuit dock up here. I think that will work. We don't need a whole lot of them. Get the checkpoint, get a few docks going on. That's going to need power. We got our heavy watt wire here. That's convenient. And we're going to need pure oxygen, which we could just grab from the air, maybe. We already have a line over here, I think somewhere. This is sucking up oxygen to go to our suits. I think we'll we'll steal from, from some from here and just build a pipe this way. Granite. Nice little bend in our pipe here. We're only at cycle 257 and we're getting pretty bad save lag. But this is just an alpha, so probably not optimized at all. So if they come through here, that should help them out. And I think we'll block this off, maybe. To force them to come up this way, even though we got our fire pole here already. Let's do that. We're going to put some tiles here. 
Make sure they don't, don't go this way. We don't want them to come around here with suits and then come back down. And We want one-way access only. That'll keep them protected. Okay, how are we doing here? We got... Oh, we got some petroleum. Lovely. We should probably set the priority up here a little bit higher. How's the temperature in here? Warm. But we'll fix that here. We're going to shave this down. Make sure they can still get up there. They can't access that yet because we have no suits. I don't think I actually have any suits here. I think we might, might have to make some. Got oxygen going in. Do I have any suits? I don't think so. Let's just check. We have one. Okay, we'll make some more. Let's make four. Please. Oh, we had two. Okay, good. Where are they going? <laughs> okay, they're allowed, they're allowed to work on that. That's that's fair. Okay, we got natural gas coming in. And how hot is petroleum? 85. It's coming out at 98. It's actually not going up in temperature. Oh, I'm thinking of metal refineries. Okay, so not too bad. It's still pretty warm. And this thing needs an output. I think I might just jettison some CO2 into space here. Actually, it's starting to cool down and crystallize in this really cold temperature. You know what? We'll just chuck it out into the atmosphere for now. This to that. I think that should work. I might cut this off just for now until we need it. The natural gas will get uh, get stuck in here. I should have made a vacuum first, but uh, we'll just filter it out. I think. So, oh, we need a pump and a filter. I realize there's more efficient ways to do this filtering, but I just like the, uh, the basic filter. Now the natural gas, where should we send that? Let's send it... this way, down towards the base. And everything else should be oxygen and stuff. We'll just set, pump that right out here. And we'll filter for natural gas. Pick that up. Should probably get a light in here as well. Help them work. That's might cover it. The decor in here is terrible. We could take all this heavy wire out later and put a two kilowatt wire. Keep them keep them a bit happier. Let's go check Barkibo while they do that. What do we got here? Let's stick a suit in there. It's the exosuit episode. Make sure our smart battery is set properly. Like it wasn't. And we need oxygen. Don't really have an oxygen line here. We don't really have much oxygen production here at all. And we only have a little bit of water. So electrolyzing it might not make sense. We could send some from... No, we can't send any from another planet. Not sure what I'm going to do here for oxygen. I am going to dig up this one. Ah, oh, we'll leave that plant. We'll just get this box light exposed. I guess for now, maybe we'll just suck it out of the air. I kind of need some CO2 cleanup as well, though. And maybe I'll do that down here. 
But I can't get there. Oh, because I got the dock there. Okay, fair enough. Let's stick it up here. With the filter. Just because. Pure oxygen out. Going this way. Need power up there. A straight line. And that should allow them to get past here. And safely get into this other area. We can even send them into the nuclear area with all this chlorine and not worry about them too much. But we will need to generate some oxygen up here. Maybe I will put an electrolyzer in. Maybe at the bottom. Maybe at the top and push the pressure down. We're out of algae. There is more algae in here though we could use. We'll just poke into here, get this bit. And do some algae terrariums near this pump, maybe. Maybe right here. That's not going to churn out much oxygen, but it's, uh, it'll do a little bit. We could also plant oxy ferns. Try to get the pips to plant them, maybe. Okay, back to Poopazon. Anything we can get going on here? We can dig this out now. Keep them busy. We're out of oil here. Oh, I can't remove this tile. But what we can do is push this up. And I just realized we need to filter out petroleum. Actually, the petroleum should just flow right through and be fine. Okay, back to the main planet. How are we doing here? We got no filter. What are we sending out? We're sending natural gas out. That's not good. <laughs> uh, natural gas, filter, please. Okay, and it's not going anywhere, so let's. We sent a little bit outside. That's not good. Uh, I didn't think we'd actually send everything until the filter was set. But I guess it's passing everything through. Oh well. Not to the end of the world. Let's set up a grill for that natural gas to go to. But until then, let's just store it somewhere. And we'll put a sensor on here as well. Do a atmo sensor right here. And we'll check the pressure, make sure the pressure is high enough before we do this. So we get that going. And let's send that natural gas. I think these plants are pretty much probably goners anyway. They're not growing, so we'll take them up. Sure, it's getting pretty hot in here, so I think what I'll do is put some maybe metal tiles to conduct the heat right here. I think I'll wait though. I'm gonna wait until we have some of this natural gas out of here because I don't want it to flood everywhere. Build a floor here. And we'll store that natural gas in the tank for now. If the pressure is above 1, well, maybe not 1, 50, just for now, we will pump that out. 
it's probably safe to put this metal tile here, actually. Let's just do it. Metal tile. Cobalt. Actually, cobalt has a high thermal conductivity. Oh, they both do. Okay. We're gonna stick a tile there, maybe here. Thirty-nine. We'll do one at it. Well, we'll do them both. We might burp a little bit of gas out. No, I think we're okay. And that should cool this area down quite a bit. We'll add more if we need it. This little bit of water in here is actually nice. Okay, so we got our natural gas building up. Let's cut this open. Do another tank here. And think about a grill. Oh, we got the portal. Let's check that. Stick with stick with items for now. And let's get that Draco put away. He doesn't belong there. I think I have a drop off over here somewhere. We had a Draco running around. Here he is, shaved butt. We should probably put a little bit of hydrogen at the top here so it's butt continues to grow fur. That means I have to block this airflow off though. Um Which is okay. So we'll seal that up for now. I have to remove this door and quickly seal it. Otherwise, the slugs are going to get out. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Not quick enough. Out he goes. <laughs> we'll get him back. Come back. Come back. Okay, now we can dump some hydrogen in here. Let's do a gas... Um, gas canister emptier. And we need a bit of hydrogen. We got a little bit up here we could use. But I'm not going to deal with that just yet. Let's make sure everything is staying coolish in here. Not too bad. Let's put another few metal tiles here. And maybe some sh temp shift plates. Out of. Uh, not ceramic. Copper? Oh, we'll just use granite. We got so much of it. That'll help spread out that heat a bit. Maybe we'll link it all the way up to here. That's a lot of stuff to build. Should kind of keep things cool for a while. And do I have hydrogen in here already? What is this? Nope. The only hydrogen I have in the whole map. Um, it might be. We could make some more, but I think all we need is a tiny little bit of it. So let's build a pump and a filter. Open a filter. Uh, let's put it right here so they can reach it. This is very temporary. This is just to get that hydrogen out of there. How much power do we have on here? Quite a bit, but I think we can safely do that. And we're going to put that into a canister filler. Maybe right here. So that goes in there, and then hydrogen will come out and go in there. 
Everything else can go there. Let's make sure we pick our filter this time. Hydrogen. And not bad. Should we should, that way we should get pure hydrogen. And we don't want this thing to run forever. So we'll set it to only work when there's hydrogen right here. If it builds up. There we go. Not a very big industrial brick. <laughs> Just the bare minimum. We could probably load some plastic up in a container. We could actually use a smart container. Let's use a smart container here. We'll do smart storage right here. What's going on here? Idle dupes. Do we not finish this? We've got no oxygen. So, select oxygen. And send the rest there. We got polluted oxygen in there as well. We probably want to clean this up a bit. We'll put a deodorizer or two here. them in one suit at least. How are we doing for food here? 46,000 oxygen is fine for now. Water's going pretty quickly. Okay, boop is on. Slow dupes doing slow work in here. I guess we better prepare the oil well. Uh, do we have any water in here? <laughs> we don't really have much water on this map. We're going to have to send water in here. Through the teleporter. Yep. We're going to have to hook that up. Because there's no source of water here. Okay. Next project here. I'm going to lower the priority of these a little bit. Make sure the oil refinery is 7 though. Okay, water. Uh, we've got some water coming out of here. And we want to send it into the teleporter. Where the heck is that input? That's the output. Here's the input over here. We got our water line coming over here anyway, so that will be nice. We'll just branch off here and go this way. Making sure it's not too cold here. Actually, it's a good temperature. And we're going to go in... That's... That's an input, right? Input, yep. That should work. Boop is on. We are going to end your warnings for, for good here. Idle. Don't want to hear those. Oh. What? Check mark should be okay. Food is actually really low here. It's because I <laughs> uprooted everything. We'll put that back. How many dupes do we have? We got four. We probably should just put it all back. Maybe five each. That's like one, two, three, four. That should be enough, actually. Make that a seven. Actually, let's make it an eight. And that water. 
Let's send the water. Actually, where is our output? Up here. Temperature is okay for all that. So we need a pipe from here. Actually, you know what? We can just feed it right into here. I think that'll work beautifully. So once this gets used up, we can just decommission it. Yeah. That'll work perfectly. That way we'll get oxygen production here going on forever. And then we need to send it down into here without boiling it. 80 degrees. Now that thing's going to release natural gas. So we wanted a liquid lock in here as well. But it's so damn hot. So damn hot. Uh, where can we put the liquid lock safely? Maybe over here. Idleness. It's true, but I didn't want a warning about it. We got a check mark. What if we uncheck it? Okay, my liquid lock. Where do we want to put it? We'll put it right here and then loop them loop them around. I think that's probably the best way. But I want to build it closer to the bottom, but we can't because it's too damn hot. Unless we make it out of oil. Let's make it out of oil. Right. Uh, maybe we can shimmy it in here. Could do a little liquid lock. Right. Let's squish this away a little bit. Cheating a little bit here by doing this, but that's all right. We're corner building. Okay, so that'll be the bottom of the liquid lock, and we'll do. Actually, I could have left that. Right there. Bottle emptier. And hopefully we have enough scrap oil left here. A little bit, maybe. Let's disable this pump. You know what's kind of nice about this area? We can have these all running and just dro drooling into this basin here. Yeah. We don't have to, like, seal them up. We can just use this whole entire room. That's beautiful, actually. I like that. I approve. Uh, we'll have to dig this out and then raise it up so it all drools over here. They're probably working on the food. Uh, we're out of dirt? Oh, no seed available. Did I send all the seeds away? I think I did. Um, that's not good. They're about to starve to death. Uh, we can send them some food though. Let's do that. Uh, first let's see what we got here. Awesome seed, okay. Okay, we're gonna send them some food. Emergency food run here. Back from the home asteroid. We are gonna send... What do we got? Lots of... Roast grub fruit nut. 53,000. Sounds delicious. We'll send it all. Allow manual use. Edible. Roast grub fruit nut. Priority 8. Yeah, we'll do that. As long as the fridges are not too high. 
They are seven. That should work. They're doing it. They're sending it. Beautiful. And back on Boop is on. There should be food coming out of a teleporter somewhere. There it is. Beautiful. No longer are they starving. And we really only need one of these fridges in action. I'm going to deconstruct these ones. And just keep the cold one going. There we go. Got some polluted dirt here. Everyone is idle. Um, let's get some oil in here. Crude oil and petroleum, I think both are allowable. And then we need a pump here. Suck up the little bits of oil that we have. You know what, we can mop this up too. That's actually probably easier. Cancel that for now. That should get our liquid lock going. And that shouldn't boil, that should work. Where are you going? Okay, once we got a little bit of petroleum in there, we should be good. This tile's a little bit weird. Let's put a ladder here. It's kind of nice they actually gave three as well, which is just enough to keep one oil refinery going, I think. These are each three, 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 I think. Okay, almost got that liquid lock going. It's hot, I know. We have some petroleum yet? Uh, not yet. Make sure we have a little bit here. Petroleum, yeah, we got a tiny, tiny amount, but that's all we need. It's a tiny amount. And I think we'll put our first refinery down here, maybe. Oil well. Utility, oil well. Oh, this thing gets hot. But I think we can overheat temperature 2000. We can build it at anything. Stick that on there. Bring some water down. This will have to be insulated for sure. But not until we get into the heat. So we'll build that. Go down here. And we need a lot of power for that. 240. Kind of need a separate circuit here. This one is kind of, kind of busy. We could have used two kilowatt wire though and kept it going that way, but how much metal do we have here for two kilowatt wire? We have so much lead. Let's just, we're gonna wire it up here. Priority nine, sure, why not? That can go there instead. Upgrade all that wire. Probably should have a lower priority than nine. Ok, 
Okay, now that we have some plastic, we should maybe do something with it. Let's see how much, how much plastic do we have here. Plastic. Not a whole heck of a lot, actually. We've used up all our oil. We've got a big tank of petroleum. Let's, let's reset this to above 2,000. Make sure this doesn't freeze. It's possible this will freeze. <laughs> let's put in another plastic maker right here. Oh, that's kind of in the way of the pump and stuff. Okay, can't put it there. We'll have to move it over one. And that's 130 degrees. We'll want to keep that insulated. We'll just join it there. Where am I sending this? Out into space, I think. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need it just yet. So what could we use that little bit of plastic for? Um, oh, that Treco. He got away. Let's get him. And we're going to put some hydrogen in here. Let's do that. Unbreathable hydrogen. We already ate. That should just put a little layer up here. Keep him growing his scales. Interesting that the natural gas settled here. These guys have been cramped in here for so long. Glum, overcrowded. Oh yeah, off camera, I did get three hatches on the uh, portal. So I set up a little ranch for them here. Pretty lucky. Uh, I haven't dug any up on any map yet, so really lucky there. Uh, we should probably feed them. <laughs> I forgot to feed them. Critter feeder. They're wild, but we'll we'll feed them and get them going. Get them multiplying. And of course I get distracted and I forget what I'm doing, so we're gonna put this to unbreathable hydrogen. Little babies. Kibo. Crops are wilting. Let's feed our hatches. Igneous rock, I think. Oh wow, there's a whole big list here. I don't see igneous rock on the menu. Interesting. We'll do sedimentary rock. How much of that do we have? 177 tons. That'll last a while. Longer than this playthrough. <laughs> Unless they multiply like crazy. Okay, that's going up that way. No petroleum intake, of course. Now let's get some more oil in here, because that's kind of a problem right now. How are we doing with a liquid lock? No... Success. I put petroleum on the list, right? Petroleum. We have petroleum. They don't want to put it in here. Let's make it priority nine. There they go. They just needed a nudge. <laughs> oh. It didn't come out. Where'd it go? <laughs> they put it in there. What the heck? Where is it now? Petroleum. Did they drop it? Oh, they dropped it. It's right here. Come back and do your job. There we go. 
think we lock. Perfect. Turn that off. That's like a really kind of suspect liquid lock. 500 grams and 12 kilograms. Hopefully that doesn't break. And what's going on here? Missing tile. Okay, we'll give you a tile. Uh, this has to be steel, otherwise it's gonna melt. I think it goes here. Actually, we only need it right there. The rest can go here. Obsidian, why not? Okay, let's start digging all this out here. We'll get all this stuff out and then we'll fill it up with tile. And try not to trap them. What is this? I can't get this. Come on. We'll get it all. Okay, we got oil coming out. Imagine that. Okay, I'm gonna put a tile just for now right there. So that the oil dribbles that way instead of the other way. And we better turn the pump back on. That should work. Power. Did I finish my power line? This has to go. And that should be fine. Generator idle. Oh, the smart battery is not set up correctly. Unreachable build, of course. Let's fix that. Uh, we'll go this way. Oxygen is becoming scarce on Barkibo. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> CO2 explosion. I think we'll put a scrubber in. Down here somewhere. This guy's been busy planting. Where's our power line? Uh, we kind of want all the CO2 to go over that way. We could put it on this level. We don't really need one that desperately. Unless we want them to go down here. But they have an exosuit now, so it's actually not that important. Let's put a... Maybe put a scrubber here. So, CO2. Carbon skimmer right on the edge here. Now that needs fresh water, which we have a little bit of up here. Chuck that in there. And this will be an infinite loop, so the water sieve right beside it. The It's clean water in, polluted water out, and then it'll filter it to clean water, which will wrap around and stick back in here once we get a, get a little bit going. Put a bridge to, because we like bridges, unnecessary bridges and power. We have a little bit left here we can do. And this here isn't helping us too much down here. I guess it's good for them. No, it's not necessary anymore. We'll get rid of that. Poop is on. Crops. Irrigation. I forgot I even planted these here. Um, polluted water. 
Let's do this, maybe. Oh, we don't want to break that. <laughs> we'll go down here. Use that polluted water, that should help. Check our home planet here, how are we doing? We got two plastic makers going. And I was gonna put a auto sweeper here to get the plastic off the ground and stick it in the container. And now that I've got two of them in there, can I reach it all from here? I think I can. Plastic will go in here. This is industrial, I think. Nope. Um, manufactured plastic. And then we'll we'll set this to only fill up and then stop making plastic. So we'll hook this up to that, that up to that. So we'll make 20 tons and then we'll stop. Ten excavation. Noodle arms. Hmm. We have the food. Let's do it. I didn't really give them any uh, recreation yet. Did we ever get hydrogen in here? No. Uh, I probably didn't fill up the canister. Oh, we don't have enough for a bottle. Okay. Might need to make an electrolyzer just to get a bit of hydrogen here. I think what I'll do for that is carve this open. Get up in here and then stick an electrolyzer right right in here somewhere. Just to make a bit more hydrogen. Electrolyzer, right there. We're gonna piggyback on this power line even though we're kind of abusing it. Check our automation. It's off. Sends a green signal when the bin is full. We want it to go through a not gate actually. So we'll do this. Stick a not gate in there. So we'll go from this to this. This is what I want. E yes, and that can go there. And that can go there. Yeah, that should work. And now that we have a bit of plastic, let's use it. We'll go to like a super busy ladder that they use a lot. Upgrade that first. 3600. Let's just upgrade this ladder. Might as well use it all. That should help them speed up around the base a bit. And then we'll do here, I guess. 
And as we get it, we'll upgrade all these ladders. And then eventually we'll put some tubes in. Because tubes are fun. Let's check our other asteroids here. Make sure they're all good. Unrefrigerated food. Out of algae. Out of power. <laughs> what are they all doing? Let's grab some more algae from around here. Grab some there. There's not a whole lot left in this map. This is full of slime lung. I kind of don't want to send them in there, but let's go in here. That slime will get picked up. That's not too bad. We'll just open this up. Should be okay. Where the heck am I storing the food here? Do I not have a food bin? I must. Where is the food? Open your eyes, open your eyes. Uh, do I not have a food bin? Here it is. Powered. Okay. It's full. It's kind of an issue. We do have a little CO2 room. We could stick it down in here instead. Two layers of CO2. I think I'll do that. Two, two ration boxes here. I think there's plants here in the way. And what happened here? This probably got full. No, we never hooked it up. Probably should have put this in a reservoir, actually. Uh, we probably don't have enough. Uh, let's go through there. Let's just try that. Cut this off. Okay. That should run forever. We should probably put a reservoir there for... Just for niceness, because we're blocking the pipe here. Let's actually do that, otherwise that's going to be stuttering and it'll bother me. Let's do that. We're going to do a liquid reservoir. We'll leave room for another... Carbon skimmer. I kind of... Didn't find that out very well, but... So, instead of coming out here, we'll go in there. And then rejoin up... Here. I missed that pliers mod. Let me tell you. Yes, that's okay. Output, input, output, input, input. Do a bit of cleanup. Now, do we have any sand on this map? I think I, I think we're out of it. We might have to crush some. We'll do some here. We'll do 50. I'll probably just set it to forever, but we'll make it six priority. And I've just realized I'm way over time here. So we're gonna probably wrap it up. 
Let's just see here. I got damage overheated. Security door. Don't care. Don't care. Okay. Slow things down. Check our main. Main base here. Plastic is being made. Truly is going. Make sure our oil is going. It is lovely. But we are sending petroleum potentially through this pipe. That's actually okay. Because it's just going into the refinery, it should just pass right through. So next plan, next episode, if I do one, for this map will be to put some more oil wells in, get some more plastic made. I shouldn't have covered that just yet. Yeah, we'll see. I'll call it tomorrow. We'll see what the update is like. If there's a whole bunch of new stuff in the in the full the full fledged uh, DLC that you buy, then I'll start over. Because uh, I learned a lot during this playthrough in terms of what capabilities there are. We didn't build the big rocket chamber. This thing, we could have put a whole like little base in here. I think that would have been fun. But I think I'll do that on my next playthrough. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to get notified when I release episodes, which should be pretty frequently. I was saying I was going to do them every day, but uh, I'll try to keep to that schedule, but it might not be every single day, especially on Mondays. I might not have a video on Monday because Mondays are busy at work. And the night before, I need proper rest. So uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.